You know what? I think I just figured out what it is that I built here. I think I built the go-kart of bass boats. <laughs> I mean, think of it. It's teeny tiny. It's got an engine. It's got wheels. It has a seat. It's kind of got that look. Anyway, I am back here at the office pit for two, two reasons. Number one, it's uh, 1113. <laughs> Half the day is gone. So I really don't have time to travel to other places like over at Scammon. And when you're in a time crunch, there's nothing like Unit 5 and 6 if you live in Pittsburgh, Kansas, because it's only like five minutes away. Oh, also, this pit has been able to produce some pretty good-sized fish. So has the Stump Pit, another pit that's in this area. And I'm just choosing this pit because I have unfinished business. I was fishing here the last time, and my batteries died in my camera. And now I have all fresh batteries. So although we do have rain that's, uh, you know, maybe going to come in, thunderstorms and stuff. So maybe it makes that rain will make these fish even more playful. Anyway, we'll see. Um, I have some big fish to catch. So see how that goes. Okay, so I've just launched. I think I'll go back here, try the buzz bait. Because I've really not hit this area too much except for the very first time. And it was with uh, it was oh my goodness! <laughs> First cast. Are you kidding me? Holy cow! On a buzz bait. Oh, come here. <laughs> 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 hmm. I guess it's a pretty good bit, pit to come to. What's up here? Come on. Wow. No. Look out very well. My goodness. I know you want to jump, buddy. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, I don't even have my camera in. <laughs> Remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> okay, camera. Oh, let me turn this thing down so you are a witness as well. Come on, put your tail down. Hey, 16 incher. Thank you, buddy. Wow. I guess it was a good thing to start here. <laughs> well, that was inspiring. First cast, whammo, 17 inch fish. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is stick to the script. See the cumulus clouds are billowing a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to stick to the script and chatterbait my way down and then try to buzzbait my way back. It all depends on the weather. But I'm not going to buzzbait my way down and chatterbait my way back because using the buzzbait lets them really know that I'm here. There's something strange and different. So I want to save that for on the way back because a chatterbait, although it does make noise and send out vibrations and stuff, it's not quite as obvious as this is. And this may spook fish, whereas the chatterbait wouldn't do it as much. This water is like unbelievably a muddy color. Oh, by the way, as far as pits goes, I don't know that you'll find a muddier pit than this one right here. A muddier, or a more stained water pit than this one. Because normally, they're like, the worst have been about half this bad. Oh, 
sure. Why not get in on that side? Get him out of the weeds. Oh, it's another nice one. It's another nice one. My goodness. on here. Uh, well, oh, easy. Come on up here. Nice for sure. <laughs> my landing net got tangled up in my straps for my life jacket. Life jacket. Oh, hello there. Big snake coming this way. Look at this guy. I think we'll try to outmaneuver him. Just so you know. Oop. Can't do this. Let's turn. My snake buddy. I don't know what it is, man. Days with snakes on the pit. Or good days of fishing. Now, where was I? Oh yes, trying to get this thing here done. Hmm. The old buzz baits really seem to do the job. This guy inhaled it. Absolutely inhaled it. Wow. He wasn't going to come off. He was pretty well pinned. Okay. Picture. Camera. Okay, that's ready. The board is ready. Most of them got that in the water, too. <laughs> what in the wide world of sports? Mount there. Something like 14 and 3 quarters. I can't read the tape. I know yesterday, or the day before, hey buddy. You sure are pretty. There you go. Thank you. Didn't mean to fool you. Oh, it hit it. It hit it deep. It's another nice one. <laughs> and the race was on, and here comes pride up the back stretch. Heartache going to the inside. <laughs> And the winner takes it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making... Hey, man, you still are... Feisty. Oh, wow. He really... I don't think you're going to throw that like there. Your buddy did. Come on. Didn't get it out either. Ah, there we go. Sorry, that didn't hurt. Obviously. Wow. You got another nice one. Chatter bait. Butter fingers. <laughs> Man, I don't know what the deal is with me and my inability to hold on to stuff. I can just see it right now. I do catch the state record is going to flop right out of my hands. Okay, mouth shut. 15 inches. Thanks, buddy. So that was, he hit that a little bit deeper and further off the bank. So he was either falling it or I ran it over the top of his head. I mean, you know, ran it over where he was. All right, well, this one took me by surprise. I was just getting ready to pull it out of the water and say, you know what, I need to go over to a buzz bait because I've caught a lot of fish on the buzz bait. And, uh, I'm thinking I need to get back to that. And then this guy hits. Or gal, whatever. Right at the boat. Took 
looking for a nice little spin. But look, he has a spot. He has a spot like those others do. Or in the other pit. I just got through posting. Well, somebody made a comment because somebody else somewhere in the world caught a bass that was really blacked out. Dang, another almost identical 14 inch. Close your mouth. There you go. Your tail down. Be nice. There you go. Let's see if I do. Okay, I'll put you back. I'll put you back. Thank you. <laughs> you know what's strange? I was just getting ready to say, forget it on the chatterbait. Let's go to the buzzbait because, man, oh man, it's such fun fishing, seeing that thing coming across the top of the water, splattering away, and then a big explosion. And just when I think that that's what I need to do, God says, nope, here, maybe throw that just a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to cut into this. This is the other side of the bank that I've not fished. That was a really lousy cast. But I feel like I owe this side a fair shot. Maybe not a fair shot, but a shot. Come on, it's supposed to be off. in that area, I would have definitely hit that. If I was a fish, I'd probably be dead a long time ago. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at that. I gotta get that. Don't do it, Paul. It's not good. You gotta get it before anybody else does. time. Yeah, too far out. <laughs> oh man glad I gave this side a shot you know what I mean <laughs> wow I might want to weigh this I mean it's it's a nice it's got some heft to it smoke that baby got tangled up in the net twice, me trying to get the bait out of his mouth, or her mouth, 17 inches, almost, hey, mouth is really kind of closed, come on, oh no, there we are, I 
That one gets a little bit, but it's probably a two and a half, three pounder. Thank you, Betty. So sorry about that. Didn't mean to have you out of water that long. It wasn't really that long, but still. Oh, that was like textbook or what? Oh, hey, speaking of which, let's get away from the bank before I end up losing my rods and stuff. Yahooey! Wow. <laughs> All right, so kudos to the. See, this is what I'm talking about. Twice this happened, trying to get him out of there. And I couldn't really get him unhooked because this was keeping me from being able to move the lure the way I wanted it to. I don't like this net. It doesn't have holes in it, but still. It's a little too much net actually. But it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> that was so cool. Right there on the back side of that log, right before that stick. Wham! And I'm not talking about the musical group. It just flat out set mine. That's what top water fishing is. That's why I love it, man. I mean, it's just like constantly on guard. What could happen? Just any second. Especially coming up on something like that. See there, that's where he hit. I'd cast in there. I really had. But it was that final approach. He was like, yep. Now that looks like you put an effort into your retrieve, I will go ahead and hit it for you. Just so you know, if you're a crappie fisherman, this spot right here where I am, the two times prior to this that I've been here, this is the third time I've been to this pit, uh, this is where I've caught crappie on my chatterbait. That's how nice sized the crappie are. They seem to be right in this area right here. So landmarks, landmarks. It's right before you get to before you get to the back where it spreads out. There's this dead tree right here. Oops, sorry. There's this dead tree right here and this stuff. But right at right in this area right here seems to be a really great place for crappie. Oh, that was a nice bass. Man. Hammered it. Why are we not coming up on the top here? Oh, that's why. Shoot. It's another mini. Please don't come off this time. He's barely out. This is your clear. That's a nice thing about health. Well, this net is, I can do that. Put them in the water. Okay, come here. Yep, that worked like a 
just like I had a plan. <laughs> Toss back in with the chatterbait after he missed smoking it. Buzz bait. I don't blame you. I'm going to try to be getting these two. Nice, nice bass. Okay, let's shut this off. Don't need to be trolling away from this spot anytime too fast, too soon. About another 17 incher thereabouts. Okay, whoa, hold it. Take this off. Yep, 17 inches. Oh, I don't blame you. Hey, you didn't slip out of my hand. There you go, buddy. Wow. So should I be using the buzz bait or should I be using the chatter bait? Hmm. These are tough decisions. <laughs> I'm sorry, buzz bait, but I'm going to go back to the chatter bait. It has just got so many bigger fish. I don't even know where that was. Toss back in there. Man, he smoked it. <laughs> All right, so I missed a nice one on the chatterbait back in here. So I'm just going to see if they like to come out and bust a buzz bait. You know, just because. I knew my buzz bait was gonna, I mean, my chatter bait was getting ready to go right into a stick, and so I pulled it up. As soon as I pulled it up, Hit. This is not the one, but you know, hey, it's a nice one. I think I worry about getting that on I don't think he's bigger than 17, but it's a nice one, right? Buddy, that was not the one that hit my chatter bait, I guarantee it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, hey, while I'm over here, look. Well, I was really kind of hoping that with the forecast and everything that the clouds would be more of a factor today, but I see them all around here, big puffy cumulus. But I guess there's more clear sky than there are those because it wasn't really cloudy at all. Uh, but this is the office pit. I don't have to close up today. I'm not the last one out of here, but I hope you like it. Um, I love the response that I'm getting from you guys, which tells me that you do. So I'll try to keep this stuff coming. But these are the pits in southeast Kansas. If you want a great place to fish, did you hear another outboard motor? Any outboard motor? Skeet, jet skis? Eh, nothing but birds twittering, wind blowing, great stuff. Southeast Kansas, mine land, wildlife pits, open to the public. This pit is from eight to five, Monday through Friday. I think it's probably closed on the weekend. Or maybe it's open on the weekend too, I don't know. Uh, but get out there and go fishing. It's a great time to be out doing it and enjoy the outdoors. Take care of it too. Don't be littering and stuff like that. Until next time.
Take your kids fishing. All right. Bye.